list and fire. Good morning, good afternoon, and good night. You have tuned in to another episode Behind the Veil with Zazazo, Minister Zazazo. I'm going live later on tonight, you guys, but today I wanted to share a new deck I got today. This deck is so cute. So come on in. If you know someone who likes tarot cards, share the video because I want to share this new deck that I just got today. Welcome, everybody. Come on in. Blist and Fire, welcome Leona, thanks for coming through. Welcome User 414, welcome Latina, thanks for coming through. You guys, before I do tonight's video, quick note, tonight's video will start at 9.30 tonight. This is the video where I will be talking about um, Blue Baby, I think his name is, and Krishan, is it Blue Baby? Baby blue, blue baby, baby blue, whatever. That toxic couple. Um, I want to talk to, I don't watch TV, you guys. I want to talk about that toxic couple um, and show you guys how the collective is being affected by entertainment promoting this very toxic relationship to us. There's a reason why. These are, these are what we call um, portals. There's a reason why we see everything that they're doing and it's not it's more than just blue posting everything this is a ritual and the ritual that's going on with the world is trying to accentuate these toxic relationships to keep you from your highest potential within your relationships that but that's going to go down 9 30 tonight you guys blist and fire to the 20 people in the room thanks for coming through tonight's video with krishan and blue is going to be 9 30 tonight we're going to talk about toxic relationships if you wanted to see that video you can come back later on tonight for that one. Today, we are going to, um, I should say right now, I wanted to share these cards. Oh my God, you guys, I got a new deck, okay? Um, and it is by the artists Juliette Diaz and Lauren Anderson. It is called the Earthcraft Oracle Deck. To my black readers who have ascended and please, I'm, don't all of my Caucasian readers, it's, no, it's nothing against you, but when you get to a level of your ascension, you get tired of using cards that is not reflecting who you are as a person. So many years ago, I stopped purchasing decks that did not reflect who I am as a person. Blist and fire to all coming into the room. My name is Zaza Zo, and I am a third generation healer in my family. And we are sharing this deck. If you are watching the replay on YouTube, can you do me a big favor if you liked the viewing of this deck? All we ask for you to do is subscribe to this channel because we would like to do lives with our phones and we are almost to a thousand. Please friend us. You guys, this deck is fucking amazing. It's amazing. It is called the Earthcraft. And when I looked at it, I fell in love with it. All right. I'm not going to make this super long. This deck is amazing. To my readers who stopped like I did years ago, stop purchasing Oracle decks that don't have the reflection of my bloodline in them. Why do you do this, Ishera? How could you say this is, I feel like one of my Caucasian followers are telling me, Cauca um, Ishera, Ishera, Zaza, Zaza. Why would you not purchase an Oracle deck, um, a white Oracle deck? Because once you get into magic, you understand that you, there has to be a, 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 a resignation with the deck. And if the deck is not reflecting me and my bloodline and who I am, then 
How am I to know that that deck energetically is giving me quantified energetic information and downloads that I actually agree with? So long time ago, I stopped purchasing Oracle decks that did not show the reflection of forgive me, my people. No, don't forgive me. Not sorry. Okay. So many years ago, I stopped purchasing Oracle decks that did not venerate who I am as a reader. I feel those decks tend to give you false information. Those decks are particularly for some other people. And those decks sometimes energetically does not give you accurate uploads and downloads. You guys, I didn't think I was going to resonate with this deck as much as I did, but check out the back. <sighs> Thank you, Juliet Diaz and Lauren Anderson. Art is by Daniel Boodoo. Daniel Boodoo Fortune. Oh my God. The artwork is amazing, you guys. It is so beautiful. Oh my God. Look at this. I love the way they did the back of the card. I love the way they did the back of the card. It's so bright and so beautiful. Number one, abundance. Okay, I know how I like um, cards to be shown. So I'm going to do it how I like people to do it. Um, so let's check out these cards. I may stop to talk about the card, but I want to just, this video is specifically for YouTube to show this deck. So let's get into it. Oh, this is so beautiful. Ancient mother. This is so beautiful. This looks like an Italian woman. Isn't it drive by that the artwork is so beautiful? This looks like an Indian woman. This looks like an Indian woman. Black girl. Caribbean. This girl looks Celtic. This girl looks Russian. Another Indian, maybe Scottish. Oh, this is so beautiful. I like the mystery of this card. The mystery of it. I consider myself a medicine woman, so this, this card speaks to me. Thanks for the hearts, you guys. Look at this beautiful black woman. You see her fumpa? You see her fumpa? I love this. Real woman. This is so beautiful. Living water. This reminds me of a yoga pose and a sexual position, to be honest with you. Oh, this is giving me, this is giving me gypsy. This is giving me gypsy. Oh my God. Look at this, you guys. Look at this. Beautiful African warrior. If you're watching the replay on YouTube, can you please subscribe? That's all we ask. Oh my God, this looks like a monk. Oh my God, this is so me. And it's, 
This is crazy, you guys. I love this picture because number one, the girl is bald like me. Number two, the girl is black like me. And number three, the name of the card is Sacred Temple. And I consider my body also a sacred temple that is not for everybody and stronger than most. This is beautiful. And she is naked under that robe. I love this. This, it, I love this deck. Yo, I'm so glad I got it. I love it. Ooh, Storm, the Seer. This is so beautiful. Wait a minute, I have a mask like that, you guys. I'm a dancer, so I have a mask like that. Very similar. And actually a whole outfit to match too. This is cute. <gasps> Look at this, you guys. Oh, this is so beautiful. Thank you for coming through, Abby Galen. Thanks for the likes, baby. This is so beautiful. And she's got a nose ring. Oh my God, amazing. This looks like my land. This is so beautiful. Spirit of the South, fire. This is a representation of your South nodes of your sexual energy. Beautiful fucking card. I love the tattoo on the hands. The, the guy, who, um, the girls who created this, Juliet Diaz and Lauren Anderson. Wonderful ladies. And the art is by Danielle Bodo. So it's a three-woman trio. They put their foot in this deck, yo. If you like the art, go get the deck. It's beautiful. Spirit Weaver. This also reminds me of another one of my tantra poses. Sacred goddesses. I love my women, yo. I fucking love my women, yo. Ask, ask how come I would never be able to do women dirty because as a sacred divine, I love myself too much to do so. I, and I've been through a lot of shit, you guys. And I would never purposely do someone dirty on some old real shit. I respect women too much for it. To be honest with you, I expect, I respect women more so than men. But I do love my men. Spiritual journey. Look at this card, you guys. Amazing. Isn't it? Oh, my God. They're, oh, look at this young boy looking like my son. The ancients. And I consider my son. Do you see the ancients? I didn't notice this last time. The Native American ancestors, the Nephilim, the Lumerian. I had a wolf visit me in my dream once on some old heavy shit. This is so beautiful. I consider my son an ancient soul, too. This is so beautiful. Like I said, you guys, before, if you're looking for the video regarding the toxic couple, we're going to do that at 9.30 tonight, 9.30 tonight. I just wanted to upload this viewing of this new deck to my YouTube before I went into the video tonight. This actually, there's a mountain that looks very similar to this of a woman laying down. I don't remember where this mountain is, but there is a real mountain that looks like this, and you could literally see the woman laying down. It's, it's, it's an exact replica. Beautiful. Oh, you see, you didn't think they were gonna not put a black man in this motherfucker. Shoot, slow rider. You think they're not gonna put a black man in this motherfucker. Look at this. This is beautiful. Wow. Oh, look at this. Look at this thunderstorm. Do you see how this man is kicking? This man looks like he's frolicking. This man looks like he's frolicking. This is so beautiful. Oh my God. The three ladies who created this deck, y'all put y'all foot in this deck. I cannot wait to use it and read. And read and read it for sure. Oh my God, this is so amazing. You can tell she's half woman, half bird. 
warrior woman, amazing. I consider all of my followers are a soul family, but those are my zoes. Those are my warrior souls for real. We are warriors in this time of struggle and strife. And we will always win. This 41 card is amazing. Beautiful. And of course, they represent the beautiful Caucasian queens. Yes, indeedy. No discrimination. I just love who I am as a black woman. And I respect white women too. This is beautiful. I like the color they put in her hair. Wild wind. Oh, look, a pregnant woman. She's giving me Pocahontas. I know, Moana, right? Ezra, you're talking about this one or are you talking about the one of the mountain? Yes, because that's very similar, Ezra, to the one being on the mountain. Oh, this is burp. This is me in a year, bitches. Fuck what you heard. This is, this is me with my extraterrestrial baby in a year. Spirit is talking to me. Who else is going to be pregnant by next year? I'm just saying. Beautiful. <gasps> Oh my God, this is so beautiful. Look at her skirt. You are sacred, beautiful divine woman. Don't you forget it. I love the fact most of the women are naked. I love this. Oh, this is, and this woman is a little muscular. I like that. This is nice. And we're back to one. Wow, you guys, let me tell you something. This right here, is beautiful. Let me pull out one card for the collective before we go. What is the message for collective before we go? What is the message for before we go for collective? What is the, no, three messages before the collective? What is the message for collective? before we go. Remember you guys, we're going live at 9.30 tonight and we're gonna get into a deep conversation on toxic relationship, giving our focus on Christian and Blueface. That's his name, Christian and Christian and Blueface, the biggest toxic couple on the, tele on the television screen and on the media to date. What is the devil energy? What is the devil e energy underneath? You guys, a lot of you think that you've lost your opportunity for love because of a fucked up relationship. I need for you to continue in your prayers. Whether your prayers are inside of your mind, whether your prayers is going to a church, whether your prayers is writing it down, whether your prayers is cleaning your house, whether your prayers is feeding your dog, get into your prayer state because the only way you can manifest something is utilizing, well, not the only way, but the highest way you can manifest your dreams to come true is by utilizing your devil energy, your dark energy, your underground energy. Your underground energy is by utilizing chaotic magic. Dance a little, speak a little, whine a little. Fuck a little, talk a little, get into your prayers. What is the top of the energy? What is the top of the energy message? What is the top of the energy me message? We all fighting demons, um, Black Jacqueline. The, the point is you have to learn how to balance them out. Look at this, see? And how do we balance them out? Black flax, flax, wait, black for Jacqueline. Oh, black for Jacqueline. There you go. We balance out our demons. The point is this. You think you're supposed to get rid of your demons. That's not it. We all got addictions. We all got issues. We all manipulate. We all are narcissists. We all are, are, are self-righteous motherfuckers. What makes you who you are is how you balance these virtual realities how you deal with these seven deadly sins, how you handle these virtues. So instead of trying to get rid of your demons, why don't you talk to your demons? Instead of trying to bury your demons in drink, 
in corruption, in addiction? Why don't you learn how to balance them shits? So then you are the true God body with positivity and shadow balancing itself as the gods we are. But to do this, you must, like the cards say in the angel message on top of the deck, you got a soul search. Okay? Because a lot of souls are lost. A lot of souls are confused. But when you realize you got a soul search, you'll release the tears and you won't feel embarrassed. You'll do something wrong and be okay with saying sorry because you know you've learned from that mistake. Because a lot of individuals have lost their soul. Why did they have lose their soul, Ishera? Because they're trapped in addiction. They're trapped in confusion. They're trapped in the isms. They're trapped in following people and, and codes and styles. You know, they're following what other motherfuckers are doing instead of making their own path and being their own leader and leading themselves. Once you realize your demons are there for a reason, and please understand, I am a minister of the shadows. We teach our initiates, our congregation, to not be ashamed of their shadows, but to utilize their shadows and learn to master them and balance them out with their light so they can be the gods that they have always been born to be in this realm called hell school prison of earth the Milky Way galaxy. So if you feel your soul is lost, if you feel you can't find the way, it's time for you to look at the man in the mirror and face the ugly parts of you that you may not like, like my eczema. A lot of people would think, oh, she is very um, um, confident. I know that I will have people always talking shit about my skin, always. I've learned to walk in my light even, oh, I'm not going to cry, to walk in my light even in my imperfections. Yes, my skin is not perfect. Yes, I have vertiligo. Yes, the fights that I have in my sleep, you can see the parasite effects of my leopard-like marks all over my body of proof of the warrior fights that I've dealt with in the ethos, but it doesn't take away from my beauty. My vertiligo doesn't take away from the, from my perfect soul. So understand when you find your soul, no matter how imperfect you may be, you will walk proud. You will walk resilient and you will walk happy as fuck. Why? Because you know that every single human on this planet is an imperfect body living, I should an imperfect body existing within a perfect soul that has been shattered. And the only way you can unshatter it and heal it is by remembering who you are and healing the pains of your heart, your soul, and your mind. Yes, your soul is lost, but you can definitely find it again. You notice the number 29? 9, 10, 11. 11 is synchro destiny, reflection. The only way to find the soul, especially a soul that is lost, is by looking into yourself. Stop blaming mommy. Stop blaming daddy. Stop blaming the one that got away. Look into you and then figure out how you yourself can heal and be become better from whatever you've lost, whether it's your soul, whether it's a lover, whether it's a child, or whether it's a mother. Focus on you. That's the only way you will heal. And the middle of the deck energy, last message, middle of the deck Middle of the deck energy. It came up again. There's not too many of you are dealing with nature. To the 10 people who are watching me, I need for you to get into nature. Hear me now. 
And to my replay players on YouTube, can you do us a favor? And if you liked this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel at Soul Healer Therapist. Get into nature, you guys, and tap into not only your feminine energy, but your masculine energy. So when you're in nature, not only dance, but scream if you have to. Not only paint, but fight if you have to. Utilize both energies of masculine and feminine. This has been a sacred read from Minister Zazazo showing off my new deck. And yes, you guys, it has a book. Oh, these are the, um, it's a black girl. Cool. These are the, um, the creators of the, um, of the cards. Oh my God. Danielle Bodo Fortune is Trinidadian. I didn't know that by her name. She's a magic maker and an empath and an artist. She's a good artist. Lauren Anderson is a tarot card. No wonder. I resonated with the cards. The energy in these cards were heavy to me. And when I, when I got them, I felt the vibration of the cards when I got them. I should have known both of them were seers. She is a tarot card reader and an astrologer and spiritual teacher and co-author to all. Oh, that's a message to all my writers who have not finished their books. Complete that shit by next year. That's your message. That's another message. If you are watching this and you are a writer and you haven't published yet, make it happen by next year. Amunet. Ooh. That was for nobody but me. Oh, shit. Juliet Diaz is a seer, a healer, a bruja, a teacher. Oh, an indigenous Tano Cubana. She's the author of Witchery and Planet Witchery and co-author of Seasons. I love the fact that these girls got together and created, these three girls got together and created this tarot deck. We women need to work together more. We women need to come together as a collective and work together. I am so grateful that I was able to venerate these three women because we have, as women, do not come together and work together enough. 2.9 likes. You guys, you guys are too kind. Thank you so much. I never have a lot of people in my lives, but you guys show me love like there's a hundred motherfuckers in there. Thank you for the 3,000 likes, you guys. Shout out to Juliet Diaz. Shout out to Lorraine Anderson. And shout out to Danielle Bodo Fortune. Your fucking tarot deck is amazing. The magical shit that can happen when women come, when powerful, sacred, divine women come together. And I'm going to put another spell out there. May I be able to work with high level sacred divines in the years to come. Because we as women, we do not come together on a cohesive page together and work together to make money. I don't give a fuck if this didn't speak to nobody. This this fucking video spoke to me today. Amunet Raet Asheo. See my TikTok collective. I'll see you at 930. And we're going to talk about, um, oh, if you want to be our TikTok friend, um, check us out on Soul Healer Therapist on TikTok. We're going to get into Krishan and blues toxic relationship and how the powers that be are literally trying to stop high level power couples from getting together by promoting toxic relationships. So then the society can be toxic. Blist and fire, you guys. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And we will see you in the next video. Yo, three magical bitches working together. That's what the fuck I'm talking about. Later, guys. <laughs>